Um, so Sadia, uh, is, she is a physician uh, uh, by training. Um, she lives in West uh, Midwest with her beautiful two kids and her husband. And she, uh, she did the course uh, early this year um, and she's very focused, engaged, hardworking. Um, and I can tell you, she was very patient with her interviews. And uh, I believe she got the job in June, right, Sadia? Uh, it was at the end of June, yes. End of June. So yeah, so all yours, Sadia, whatever you want to say. Yes. Thank you, Abhishek. And uh, thank you for your kind words. And uh, yeah, it was uh, every time I come to your class, there's something new I learn. So I really enjoyed being a part of it today. So I don't know. Um, so I am a, like as Abhishek introduced me, I am a foreign medical graduate and I did uh, this uh, certification with Mediform. Um, I started in December and at the end of February, uh, I was done and uh, the marketing started and um, it was about like, it took me three months. Um, I know it's uh, really hard when you are waiting and the whole process is really draining, but uh, it was worth it, uh, I tell you. At the end, because like I landed a job as a drug safety associate and um, I'm really happy with that. And uh, I can tell you like whatever was in the modules was like um, enough, uh, was more than enough. And you have to focus on whatever is in the modules and um, do write down all the questions that Abhishek is telling you because they really help. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, any queries, you can ask me. Hi, Sadia. Um, Hi. I was just wondering how many, uh, how many interviews did you go through uh, before you got the job? So uh, it was like, a, um, because it, my first, it, it was my first time going through job search and everything. So it was, everything was new for me. And I went, there were three real interviews. Like uh, most of the interviews I was going through in the beginning were recruiter interviews. And I did not um, understand like why, um, I thought like it's a first interview that is not actually until they connect you to the uh, company, uh, HR person or some uh, HR manager or uh, the, um, if you get a real interview, you will know it's from the company. It's not uh, with the recruiters. You think uh, you're going to interviews because they're some of the recruiters, they will ask you all the questions that uh, are asked in like uh, all the behavioral questions that are asked in the interviews. But like, um, yeah, then Abhishek, because of his guidance, uh, like I knew how to tackle with the recruiters. <laughs> yeah, it was my first time. It was uh, hard for me and I took time, but uh, yeah, it was worth it. Um, it was like uh, recruiters, you will get calls every day. So on marketing side, uh, they were doing really good. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. So Sadia, uh, you were applying all by yourself or uh, marketing team was the only uh, folks they were applying for you? Um, they were doing marketing for me, connecting um, me with the recruiters. But yeah, I was applying myself. But I had guidance, like if you have any questions, how to apply and where to apply and what to look for. And I was um, like everything they helped me, even uh, writing my resume and uh, like what to expect, what to like uh, everything they helped me um, with that. But yeah, you have to apply yourself. So is there any uh, sites that you can suggest that's, uh, that's useful that you find like uh, better job openings or, or, or maybe helpful that you can the most important thing uh, was LinkedIn that uh, I did not like make account in the beginning on LinkedIn. That's why um, like uh, I think it took a while, but LinkedIn is the most important and recruiters will start reaching you out from there and companies uh, even like uh, how I landed a job like they directly reached me out the in-house recruiter. So LinkedIn is most important and the other indeed is, uh, was really helpful. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Hi, Sadia. I have one more question, kind of a follow-up to what um, the other girl asked. 
So what what were the search criteria that you used on LinkedIn and Indeed? Because I'm in marketing right now. Just, you know, just if there's something I'm missing out, uh, what were like the words you used when you were searching for the jobs? Hi, um, hi Satya, your name? Um, if I'm right, Satya? Yeah. So, uh, yes, uh, I was uh, using the pharmacovigilance and drug safety. Um, in general, pharmacovigilance I was using or sometimes drug, drug safety associate because I was targeting for associate job. Sounds good. Thank you. You're welcome. So it's been a while you faced the interview, uh, but do you remember mm -hmm. like what was your experience and the rounds? Uh, what I mean, not exactly the questions, but how it went or any tips that you can give with that interview? Okay, so um, yes, everyone has different experience. It depends upon how confident they are in the interview and but mostly uh, I have seen like it always starts with behavioral questions. And uh, I, I was never asked any other questions from theory, like all of the questions were behavioral or either related to workflow. They would like to know how was your, the workflow, uh, how, uh, like they want to know, you know, about how everything is done in the industry. Uh, from triage to processing to everything like they just know uh, they want to know you know the steps you know the drill well so uh, that was the thing and uh, I would like to advise you uh, you can search the behavioral questions on YouTube and um, if you can jot them down and um, practice uh, how you how you want to answer but the one thing that um, I really liked and Abhishek told in one of the marketing calls and he said like uh, you have to make everything about a teamwork so because a pharmacovigilance department works uh, as a team and it's a success totally depends upon working together so uh, whenever you are answering some question for example if they ask you what was the best thing you um, you like about um, me uh, about this industry or you can uh, say like I like because every uh, everyone works together as a team and um so uh, make everything about a teamwork. So that would help you a lot. Sadia, yeah. Were there, yeah. Sadia, congratulations on your new job. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Were there any assignments like on narrative writing or meta coding or uh, usually uh, Abhishek says like they, there will be few assignments given to the given to us when we go like sometimes. So did you get any of them? And if so, can you explain like what did you get? Well, I, I got lucky. Uh, I just had one interview and I got selected for this job. And so yeah, um, it was even a phone interview. They they were used to uh, they used to do the Skype interviews that they did not, and uh, they just did a um, phone interview, and I got selected. And they did not and like uh, nobody asked me about the narrative writing, or um, but I have heard. Um, in some interviews and they have a procedure of uh, hiring and they do um, ask them to write, uh, write narratives, but like um, it never happened with me. I did not experience anything like that, but yeah. So I, I think I believe I got lucky. Thank you. Hi Sadia, congratulations. At first, uh, uh, did you use the experience like prepared by the resume prepared by Medifarm solution or did yes. you? Okay. Yes, I did. Uh, and are you doing the remote job now? Yes, I'm working remotely. Thank you. Hi, Sadia. Congratulations. Hi, um, thank you. Do you have any like previous work experience? No, I don't have any previous work in experience. And that's why I'm telling you like all of the confidence um, I was given was um, so by when they, uh, You said like uh, they asked you the behavioral questions. Did they ask mm -hmm. you anything like... Uh, Related to previous experience or something? No, like, they're just, just trying the to judge your questions. Yeah, just the behavior. For me, like every uh, time, all the interviews were like uh, kind of same um, behavioral questions. But uh, my colleagues and my friends, they have asked um, other questions. But like for me, I can't tell you because I did not experience anything like that. Okay. But uh, I can tell you like everything, even like in my job, uh, I'm so happy with... 
बिकॉज वट मेडिफॉर्म सोल्यूशन है लाइक दे हैव थॉट वेल आई कैन टेल यू लाइक वट वट एवर यू नीड टू नो यू फील कॉन्फिडेंट वेन यू आर जॉब यू नो मोस्ट ऑफ दिस स्टफ एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द ड्रिल एंड दे विल ट्रेन यू एंड एवरी थिंग विद द डेटा बेस लाइक इन मेडिफॉर्म वी वर ट्रेन ऑन आर्गस and um, but when we uh, in my company they use uh, aristy aris global and uh, i picked it up really quick because uh, how i i was taught was really well so don't um, be uh, confused about that and they just want because like, they knew i know argus but they but- still hired me because they knew i know the grid i know everything how it works so that's why they just want people because i learned really quick it it's these softwares are really easy to learn when you when start um uh, getting like uh, getting to know and like you read and they will tell you and they will guide you every step they will um, uh, do it like you they wouldn't um, ask you to start working on the first day they would give you at least one month two months and train you well on that okay thank you so yeah the only hard part is uh, getting through the interview otherwise when you are in like you know you know uh, yeah, even some things like uh, other folks uh, who have ex- experience in the industry they don't know so yeah be confident of yourself congratulations sabia thank you uh, are you still in the training period or are you on the live production no i i just started this week Uh, can you uh, tell some your work day from 9 9 9 9 am to 5 pm what is your activities work day activities so i was uh, as i told you like uh, we are using uh, uh, where i am hired it is uh, a device and drug industry so i knew nothing about device but still you know like they want any people and like who can fit in well so i was hired in to pharmacovigilance department um, Uh, though it's a uh, in uh, though it's a device industry but uh, they hired me and they uh, they trained me on three softwares like uh, for the one is for the device side and the other is uh, for pharmacovigilance that's the uh, aris global and now like it's really easy when you start working um, our, we have a, a small team but uh, they, uh, it's really nice working with them they will just uh, give you uh, like i have started getting cases uh, but they are giving me one or two cases a day but they don't want to put a load on me uh, there is one person who would do triage and uh, send you emails in your inbox when you get email uh, i will look into like what case i have and then i will process and enter in our registry uh, looking uh, i i open the other um which you are not going to do i use uh, the other uh, ptc windshield that is uh, for uh, the device side and i ha- i have to compare what both what what is the device side i don't want to confuse you but yeah okay. uh, so i get emails in my inbox with the complaints that are com- coming in and i have to see if they are valid or not then i would mm-hmm. put them in the database and uh, send them to triage after the initial data entry i will uh, save the case and gives me a file number then i will route it to triage and from triage i will route it um, af- uh, after putting the priority for that case i uh, and for every uh, the priority depends upon your own um, internal sops according to your company sop and then i will route that to the uh, initial data entry and then initial data entry to full data entry and then to quality review and from where and quality review will be done by some senior person pv and then uh, it will be routed to medical review so that's what i do every day so you're working on three softwares every yeah day. but uh, don't confuse yourself it's just because yeah, it's a yeah. device industry that's why mm-hmm. i have to check three is uh, and uh, two other softwares before entering the case into my so while interviewing you uh, did they ask questions about uh, device related uh, no nothing i told them i know nothing about device but uh, i told them but you have to um, show them your interest i told them like i know i don't know anything about aris global i don't know about anything about device industry but i will be so happy to work with you guys and learn about um, device as well 
so that that was the only thing they were interviewing for the device side but they gave me a job for pv because uh, the supervisor for pv was in the panel interview and um, she just chose me because the interview was for, uh, was for the device side but they chose me for the their own department so user uh, company yes, so are, the uh, west coast as well or uh, where's mm -hmm. your what's the location of your company you're working right now so it's uh, the company is uh, located towards uh, um, you can it's uh, Massachusetts, but like yeah, it doesn't matter because uh, most of the employees are located scattered throughout America. Okay. So yeah, because they're keeping it remote. So you're full time. No, I'm not full time because uh, you have to pay. Uh, they they hired me uh, for three to six months on contract, and then company will decide and uh, if they want me on um, board, then they can offer me. Okay. Good luck, Sadia. Thank you. Thank you again. Hi, Sadia. Uh, one question. Congratulations. And uh, I just want to ask you one question. How different are the source documents for the devices than of the ICSRs? Is there any difference? Excuse me. Is there any difference? Uh, yes, the there source? is some difference. How, how do you uh, triage it? Like it doesn't have the... Uh, yeah. For uh, criteria to, I mean, how how do you say it? Can you explain? So, it yeah, it share took, some of it. Yeah, it took me some time to uh, identify what is uh, relevant to PV, but you know, like how uh, I'm just telling you because uh, it's not it's not because like um, I've been called in for that, but because uh, I I'm telling you they taught me really well, so I took uh, just one week. So uh, the, my training for RS3 started uh, almost like two weeks back. It just took me one week to learn the uh, software and just one week to, because I know all, uh, everything, how the case becomes valid. Just I have to pick uh, in, when you get a source document from um, device industry, you have to pick, just pick the, out of all the paragraph, you have to pick something that uh, is mentioned uh, relate, relevant to patient, the adverse event rel relevant to patient, not the device gone wrong or some happened like a drain blocked or there was alarm going on you have to leave all that and just extract if a patient is has peritonitis he got infection or he had fever you have to pick that part and you have to pick um, IRD depending on that like initial receive date depending on that while the patient is using the device it does no the, the device we are, um, we are just uh, concerned so. yeah we just concerned about the adverse event and relevant to the patient not to the device uh, if the device uh, got like any complaint related to the device we won't uh, consider that thank you you're welcome uh, hello sadia uh, i have a question a little different question that um, mm -hmm. uh, is this course is good for uh, non pharmacy and non-medical background people? Yes, I think because uh, I have like, uh, we, there were three people hired and one of us, uh, one is a nurse and one, the other one, like uh, she did not have any medical background and uh, she is doing good. So it means like, if you understand the drug life cycle and everything well, if you understand how uh, the, uh, what, are, is, what are the clauses of a valid case, then you know uh, anyone can enter the case it doesn't matter and the because the medical judgment for medical judgment they have other people senior people for that the uh, clinical investigators so you don't have to worry about that and you can learn uh, about the drug and device how is it works how the medra coding works and they're going to help you so uh, i think uh, anyone can be so uh, any anyone can learn this with time so it's not that difficult Mm -hmm. I have started uh, as a drug safety associate because I want to climb the ladder towards medical reviewer position. Mm -hmm. So um, that's why. Otherwise, like anyone can do this. Okay, thank you, Sadia. It helps yeah. a lot. One quick question, Sadia. Like, what's yeah. your uh, what's your uh, advice or top advice suggestion for the people who are in marketing right now? My top advice uh, is don't lose patience. So yeah, it took me a while because like everyone um, has a process to go uh, and just don't lose heart. Just uh, keep telling yourself is this is the thing you are going to do. So yeah, everything will work out at your own time. 
Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Hi, Sadia. Uh, one quick question. How important it is to know Microsoft Word and Excel? It is important to know, but it's really easy. <laughs> I did not, I never worked with Microsoft or uh, Word or Excel, but it's so easy, I can tell you. It's not hard to learn. But you have to uh, work with it and like you have to make Excel sheets and you have, but it, I, I'm telling you, it's not uh, that difficult. I, I even learned and uh, I, I even learned, I think I'm learning uh, with, from my colleagues, but you look at it and it's so easy. It's easy to navigate. So it's not that difficult. So you don't need to learn that before your job. You can learn, learn that during job. So yeah. I have one question. Yeah. Uh, how many, usually how many drug associate you have in your company? So in my company, so there are some clinical investigators, they were drug associates, but now they're just doing serious cases. So uh, okay. there are four or five. Yeah. Okay. It's a small department in my company. So sir, usually is like that or is the, uh, depend on the company is like no, the bigger the company is. Yeah. The... Because it's a device industry, that's why they have less people, they have less drugs. Otherwise, they, it's a, like, a, it's usually a big department. There are more people. Okay, thank you. Yeah, um, so the one quick question. Uh, in your interview, like, did the most of the, uh, most of the question was uh, like behavioral question or subject of uh, like PV related question? Yeah, I've been asked, every time I've been asked just behavioral questions. Yeah, no subject related. Okay. Uh, how so, do you prepare for uh, behavioral questions, uh, Sadia? Can you give some suggestions? How did you make up the stories, the scenarios? How did you make up for them? Um, I, I just did Google search and um, fit in whatever I knew. And um, yeah, and it worked. You don't need to uh, talk a lot or make uh, too many stories. You just uh, need to, like, whatever you know, I think is enough and you will be able to tell them something. Satya, uh, how many interviews did it take you to land yourself a job? Uh, it, I took like three interviews. Fourth one I, uh, was the one like I landed me into a job. This one was, uh, didn't go well. The others were really good. They were really impressed and did not give me offer anything. So yeah, don't be confused. It, it, it's a draining process. It's really hard and draining process. It, it would test your patience. But uh, yeah, this one interviews, I'm telling you when it's your time, you will get it no matter what. This one was uh, not a good experience for me because they, they could, I couldn't hear them. There was some problem in the internet they, and uh, I dialed twice and I told them like, ask me some questions and they were not asking any questions. So I thought like I, I, I lost it, but yeah, when you lose, um, I think when it's your time, then you will have it. So don't lose your patience and just tell yourself that this is the thing that I'm going to do. Uh, yeah, so, I have a quick question. Yeah. Um, so if you uh, face any question or uh, if you're stuck in your work somewhere uh, when mm -hmm. you are on working, so how do you resolve or deal with uh, any questions or query? Uh, I have not been in such situation yet, but uh, I believe like uh, how we are working uh, together and uh, if uh, everyone is so open hearted and everyone is saying, uh, if you have any query, just ask. So they don't mind asking questions and we ask them whole day, like if you have some problem. So when once you are hired, uh, and they know that uh, you know everything and uh, they will teach you everything. Uh, I'm telling you, it's uh, two months of reading all the SOPs and how the company works and uh, everything like that. You And so it's not um, hard. So uh, you will get to know. And if you have any trouble, you can just ask them. I don't know this, can kindly help me with this. Mm -hmm. And you have SOPs for everything. Uh, and uh, you, the SOPs is like, they tell you step-by-step step how to perform something or enter the data and everything like that. So mm -hmm. yeah, every company has SOPs and they have to train you. They That's can't good. take work without training you. Mm -hmm. It's a legal requirement. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, Sadia. How well did you study the module? I would say pretty well, <laughs> so, but not that uh, I knew everything, but the basic things and uh, whatever, during the lectures, I used to take notes, but whenever Abhishek says like, this is an interview question. So you have to highlight that and write it down. I have a habit of writing everything down. If you say it's an interview question, this thing is important. And uh, before interview, I would just go through that. Thank All you. the highlighted stuff. Thank you. Welcome. So where did you do your medicine, Sadi? From Pakistan. Like what, which school? Army Medical College. Okay. Uh, I'm a trained cadet, you know. That's, I see the confidence. I, I was trained like cadets, yeah. Nice. Uh, sorry. Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, congratulations, ma'am. Um, could you Thank tell you. me, you know, what made, you know, you said one of the injury was really bad? Yeah. What did you feel like that? What happened? Because they did not ask me any questions. Like they just asked me, uh, introduce yourself. And after that, um, I was having a hard time listening to them, like what mm -hmm. they're saying because of the internet connection problem. But I, okay. I showed interest. The only thing I feel is because I showed interest. Like I asked them how your department works, how does the device industry work? I'm really interested in that. And whatever the, uh, the other person said, I did not hear that. And I told him like, I want to call back again and dial back again because I can't hear you. And I think and they just sense that I'm interested in learning and that's the thing they want. Like if okay. you're interested in learning new things. Mm -hmm. thank you so at the end they usually ask uh, like if you have any question for us so obviously apart from asking company and you are interested uh, did you prepare any specific question that you ask them no i usually ask like in my three interviews i think i just uh, one of the my interviews was with eris global and they were hiring um for a person to troubleshoot and uh, i um, I just asked them how the process works and it, uh, it was like a one hour interview and I asked maybe too many questions. So yeah, sometimes you have to just ask like how, uh, what is the workflow in your department or what do you, I, I even asked like, uh, how, what do you like about your job? And they will start going on. So other interviews were really good, but uh, I think some two of the interviews I asked too many questions. And so, yeah, I don't know maybe because I thought those were really good interviews, but I usually ask about how their department works. So, Sadia, before, before yeah, go ahead. You, okay. Go ahead, go ahead, oh, So, uh, before you um, joined Abhishek class, were you considering um, pharmacovigilance or this was your first exposure? Uh, this was my first exposure. I knew nothing about pharmacovigilance before. But yeah, I was searching. I talked to every person I knew who was related to any other alternate healthcare because uh, I did my, I was trying uh, to uh, clear my USMLE steps after I came here after marriage. And uh, then I had kids, then life happened. And I cleared step one, then step one expired after seven years. Then I couldn't do, take step two. So I decided I will do something and I will, choose an alternate healthcare career. So I was talking to every person I knew who was working relating anything related to healthcare. And one of my uh, friends, she referred me, she um, works in uh, as a research associate. And she referred me and I looked at the Mediform Solutions website and I, I was going to the courses. And this was the thing that I thought like I can relate to and I would love to work in. So I just called Abhishek. Who was your friend? Sara Siddiqui. Oh, Sara. Okay. Yeah. Awesome, guys. Thank you. Thank you for all the questions. And especially thank you, Sadia, for taking time and uh, talking to everyone. It's, it's very good to have you. Um, again, um, I know from on behalf of everyone on this call, 
Uh, we really want to do these calls. I know Sadia was part of these calls as a student. She was asking questions. Um, she took her time and all those things. But uh, I guess, um, uh, you know, one thing that I can point out uh, when she's uh, when she's here is uh, she, um, I mean, I, I, I really want to focus this because this is a struggle that sometimes I face or I see with students in marketing. Um, you don't need to get a job to be confident. You have to be confident before you get a job. And your confidence will uh, kind of portray as excitement, enthusiasm, uh, interest, whatever you name it to the, to the interviewers. So uh, I see most people who go into this interview with a very, um, uh, I would say they're, they're not 100% confident, but at the same time, uh, they think, okay, if I do a few more interviews or if I get a job, I'll be confident. I don't think that approach works uh, most of the times. It, you should be confident with what you know, what you have. Your preparation should give you the confidence before you go to the interview. And then um, it's pretty much uh, on an auto, auto mode you operate. You cannot think through every question, every um, you know, answer to do that. And that's something that I can uh, focus here uh, because Sadia is that kind of person that she is very confident about her, uh, what she knows. And she's also confident about what she doesn't know, like how she was saying, uh, she told the interviewer that I have no clue about medical device, but I would like to know, know about it. I'm, I, I know about uh, you know drug, drug pharmacology, I know about uh, Argus. So when you talk in that way, it, it kind of um, you know kind of pulls up even even recently in the workplace I am working, we did not hire a person that uh, we thought we were going to hire. But my boss keeps on repeating, next job, I want to call her and give her the job. She did not get the job for the ones that she interviewed, but she's going to get the job in the next two months uh, for a better pay, for a better position, because uh, she was confident in her uh, interview. And that's how uh, things uh, happen, because what you know might be only one side of the story. So I just wanted to um, you know, kind of cover that. Uh, because I, I, that is what I, when I think of Sadia, I think of her being confident and she had a rough patch, you know, she had, uh, uh, she had trouble with, uh, I would say she had a challenge with recruiters. She had challenges with the first three interviews um, because we were always in communication. I just said, keep going, keep going, do the interviews, do not stop doing interviews. Um, probably three to five interviews max is what you need, but Drug safety is such a field that when you go through interviews, um, you don't need three to five interviews. If you do it properly, I think three strikes, you should be able to get it with all the preparation that we uh, give you. But um, again, I was thinking about this with the current marketing group as well. We can teach you drug safety, but it's very hard to be a performance coach in three months. Um, it takes a lot out of us. It, uh, it takes a lot out of uh, you as well. But uh, to do something, um, you know, worthwhile and, you know, you're trying to start a career, you're trying to transition into a new career, uh, you got to do something uh, more than ordinary. And uh, some people have it. Some people will, will acquire it as they go along. Uh, but one thing that you need to carry um, is your confidence. And I want to end with this. Um, do not look for people who are just like you to tell yourself that if they can do it, I can do it. You know, we had, I'll be straight up, you know, these are, these are calls that uh, uh, should be with no BS calls. You know, you should not, you know, kind of, uh, you know, kind of uh, sugarcoat anything. You don't look for people just like you. Okay, I'm coming from Pakistan. I'm a doctor. I'm coming from Bangladesh. I'm, a, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a physician. I'm a microbiologist. I'm a non-medical person. I, you can, I can find someone uh, who has got a job. Like, uh, like next week, we are going to have uh, two pharmacists. One is a pharmacy technician. The other one is PharmD. And the other one is just a pharmacist. And she never worked in uh, U.S., and uh, the following week, we're going to get completely non-medical, non-pharmacy people. She's a microbiologist. 
and uh, uh, and I think the other person, I believe she's uh, she's also a biotechnologist. She, she's she's coming from uh, engineering background in biotechnology, so she's nowhere in uh, in healthcare as well, life sciences as well. So my point is you cannot identify yourself all the time with someone and just to gain confidence out of it. You have to have it uh, through the preparation you get. So I'm not saying that someone is born with confidence. I'm saying that with the modules you're doing, with the preparation you're doing, with the notes you're writing, you validate yourself with that and you have to prepare yourself with confidence towards what you want to do. Uh, it's not something that happens overnight. And uh, we'll do the best to get people because every time we get someone on the call, understand that we need to cover all this time for the modules because now we are like probably backed by two, three modules, which we'll cover. It's not a big deal, but still, I don't want to just train, train, train. Because the objective of this course and the way the point of our existence is job placement to give a career out of all those things. Um, not just uh, looking at financial sheets at the end of the year. It's to see how many people we trained and how many people we placed. If that number is good, I think the rest of the things will fall in place automatically over the period of time. And that's what we have experienced in the last three, four years. So my point again and again and again is um, this calls are meant not to just motivate you, inspire you, because that will wash away tonight. Tomorrow morning, it's a brand new day, and you may not remember much of this. But I just want to take um, this chance to tell you, be confident in your preparation. So when you come to marketing, you don't need this motivational talk. You know, you're, 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 you're already there. You just need some interviews, and we'll get you the interviews. And don't start doubting yourself because I see the questions some people ask. I see the questions in the emails. I see questions on WhatsApp. I see all those things. And I, I tend to um, go underneath the questions and understand why are they asking what they are asking. And uh, it all falls down to what you think of yourself, how you think of yourself, and the confidence that you have or you do not have doing it. And you can have a lot of excuses. You know, like, oh, my resume, I need to feel confident about my fake resume. Or uh, I do not know someone who has done this uh, from my background. I do not know someone who has my accent. I have an accent. I don't have an US accent, by the way, if you have, if, if you have noticed it. You know, if you have an accent, good. I always say that, yes, I have an Indian accent, but I get paid in US dollars. What's your problem? Um, so... Uh, you don't have to have, uh, you know, uh, all these excuses in your mind. These are all stories that you're telling yourself, which are not helping you get what you want. So why you keep telling your stories in a negative way uh, or something that is not helping you? So again, I, I think this calls, I, I would wrap up my module in 30 minutes to give 45 minutes to this calls because you will find the subject somewhere or the other. It's not rocket science. You will get it. You guys have done enough education to understand all this, all these silly things in from the subject. But what you will not find is this community that we are forming, and the um, the resources that you have in helping yourself build that confidence during the course. And that's a mistake that I have uh, done in the recent times: is just do the subject and get out of the class. And I said, how can I change the next batch that, that gets into marketing? How can I help or assist the next group of students who are going into job placements in the month of November and December, which is you guys? How can I do it is by including this, including this kind of thing, showing you someone who has done it and showing you how they have done it and giving you the enough uh, armory to actually use it to build that confidence. So once you're done with the modules, once you're done with the course, you're not just certified, but you're really confident in getting to the interviews. That makes your life easier and our lives much more uh, easier as well. Um, so that's what uh, it is. And it depends on you how to do it and how to take. Is there any final thoughts, Adia, that you want to add before we end the call? No, I just want to say thank you, Abhishek, for Im inviting me here so I could chip in something uh, that might help um, uh, everyone. So yeah, um, 
so uh, thank you uh, it's all because like of the confidence you gave me and uh, i can tell uh, i want to tell everyone just be confident whatever you learned is more than enough so awesome. yeah thank you guys enjoy enjoy your weekend do whatever makes you happy this weekend i'll see you on tuesday bye bye thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.